Well, Jakarta Kukata term comes to an end at the end of the year, and Tanzania is in a campaign mode to see who will succeed him as the president of Tanzania. It is exactly 20 days to Tanzania's general election, and the hunt for vote is approaching fever pitch. The National Elections Commission of Tanzania has registered 23.7 million voters via the biometric voter registration system, and they are confident that a high number will turn out to cast their ballot. So, how are the voting patterns in the East African nation and how do they compare with others in the region? KTN's political editor Ben Kitili takes an in-depth look at Tanzania's voting culture. Pollsters have predicted a high voter turnout in the October 25th general election. With the National Elections Commission having registered over 23 million voters ahead of the polls, a high voter turnout would present an interesting scenario especially in the presidential race in Tanzania, a country with peculiar voting patterns. Unlike Kenya, where you have uh, territorial or uh, maybe ethnic voting blocks, Tanzania fortunately does not have uh, such voting blocks, unless this time around uh, they, they emerge. But as far as we, the campaign has gone, there has been no indication. Tanzania's voting patterns are much more nationalistic and issue based. Kwa Tanzania wengi ilo swala halina mantiki. Halina mantiki kabisa. Ni kwamba tunataka kiongozi usi kwa kumjaji wa nataka wapi ilo swala halipu. Kiongozi yote anatakewa ni yule ambana sinomia masilai ya wananchi wote kwa jumu. Haijalishi katoka wapi, kabila gani, dini gani. Hilo kwa Tanzania wote. Sio kunuliza mimi kwa wa Tanzania wote bila akikujibu swali anakwambia yule halipo ile swali. Yaani mimi ile kwangu halina msingi ile nataka mabadiliko akiwa hata kama ni huyo makufuli akiwa nani lo wasa yani ninachohitaji mimi ni mabadiliko tu. Political scientists have tried to explain the divergence between Kenya and Tanzania for instance as emanating from the direction each nation took at independence. The political philosophies adopted by the founding presidents Mzee Jomo Kenyatta and Mwalimu Julius Nyerere. Julius Nyerere was, uh, he, he himself came from a relatively small and relatively powerless uh, ethnic groups, uh, group, um, whereas uh, Kenyatta, of course, came from a fairly large uh, ethnic group and a fairly powerful ethnic group. And uh, the Kenya system evolved along those lines. Uh, you can't always say what comes first whether the ethnic groups preceded uh, the, 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 but I think there was a conscious attempt to politicize ethnicity. Opinion polls by Ipsos and Toweza East Africa have shown that the two leading presidential candidates, CCM's John Magufuli and Ukao's Edward Loasa, have split the electorate almost right down the middle, each of them enjoying the support of two distinct voting blocs. Basically, we're looking at uh, youth versus older people, maybe men versus women, uh, probably uh, people with disabilities, etc. But basically, these are the major, major voting blocks. Kadri, watu wanavokuwa wazee zaidi, ndivu wanaendelea kumchagua John Magufuli, wakati vijana zaidi, wanadamiria kumchagua Edward Lowasa Siku za nyuma zilizopita ni kwamba vijana wengi walikuwa na dharau sana masuala ya uchaguzi lakini ilikuwa tunalalamika kwamba nini kiongozi fulani amechaguliwa kwa sababu kumbe tuna ah, tunapoteza muda kwamba sio yeye atunde kupiga kura afu tunaweza kulalamika The clear voting patterns in Tanzania have been beneficial and have ensured that the politicians stick to the issue as well as preventing election based skirmishes Those rifts that occurred then have yet to be fully mended in Kenya. This has not quite uh, been resolved completely. We don't have that challenge. Uh, we, we, we may have many other challenges, uh, but at least uh, we don't have that challenge of uh, national unity is still central. Magufuli, watu wengi vijijini, donapenda zaidi, ingawa bado naongoza. Na loasa, watu mijini wanapenda zaidi. Experts say it is a battle of the younger, change-oriented Tanzanians and the older, more skeptical citizens. 
For the ruling party, they have the security and reliability of the older voters on the ballot. For the opposition coalition, they have the support of the youth who make up the majority of registered voters in Tanzania. The challenge for them is to convert that support into actual votes. Ben Kitili, KTN News, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.